Okay, so basically for 2018, I wanted to start my own vlog. Um, I want to review books and music and movies, and I'm very enthusiastic about it. But everyone knows in order to start a good YouTube channel, you need a good camera, good lighting, and a good microphone. Um, so as much as I wanted a DSLR camera, I thought, okay, let's slow down. Um, let's start off with things that are kind of less expensive, which is good lighting and a good microphone. I know that it's awesome having a DSLR, but for people who are just doing like vlogging and simple things and you're out and about, um, I don't think necessarily you need it. What's the point of investing in buying these $800 phones if you don't use the great camera with it? So I decided to make my first review on this um, really cute microphone from Amazon. So here's what I think. All right, so this is always my favorite part, which is, of course, the unboxing. I've sped it up a little bit um, just for time purposes, but here we go. It comes with a condenser microphone. It's much nicer than I thought. It's clean looking. Uh, it also comes with a three and a half millimeter microphone cable and a three and a half millimeter headphone slash microphone adapter. And then it comes with this really cute tripod. It's about six inches high, not extended. And of course, a user manual. So this is the cord that plugs into the microphone. It comes with a tip ring sleeve, therefore it needs an adapter. Luckily, this microphone comes with a tip ring ring sleeve adapter, which is an adapter that's really simple to use. The male and female ends are labeled with a microphone, so you can't really get it wrong when you're plugging it in. You see, it's pretty easy to match. Also, if you want to listen to audio as you record, the other female end is intended for headphone use. Now that your adapter is plugged in, you can now record audio on your PC or smartphone by using the headphone plug. It easily clips onto my tripod for my ring light. I was able to place it with one hand and it stayed on securely. There's no physical attachment for it, but it sits nicely. This is how it sits on the tripod on my desk. Again, I mean, it's, it's a good looking mic. And then the volume is controlled on top of the microphone. It's also where you turn it on and off. So now that I'm done with the unboxing, I'm going to test this microphone and see how it affects audio on your PC. I don't know about you guys, but my audio recorder that came with my Lenovo sounds really bad. Like it's pretty crappy. It does not sound good at all. So I'm expecting that there's going to be a huge difference between the two. Um, but the cool part is I'm going to put the audio in my audio program, that way we can see on graphs the difference um, between the two outputs. So I've got my microphone right here. And again, I'm just gonna use the very simple adapter and plug it into my headphone jack. I'm sure you're gonna be able to hear the difference immediately. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to see what the levels look like. So where I tend to put the microphone, I put it maybe like an arm's length away so you can see what um, it's actually gonna sound when you record something, it's in a comfortable position. You can even set it a hand's length away. Oh no, my hand's really, my hand's really big. So, um, but yeah, we can do that and then we can test it. It's all the way at the end of my desk, which is about three feet um, and we'll see what the levels are. The only problem that I had setting it up was, um, so when I initially plugged it in, it didn't recognize my microphone. So when I was listening to my, my video playback, I was like, man, this still sounds like pretty bad. But then I realized I just didn't set it up correctly. So what I ended up having to do was um, going into recording devices on my PC and disabling the microphone that came with my Lenovo and then enabling the microphone. And then once I did that, it was, it was easy. I, it didn't have any more issues. I mean, you guys just saw, I just plugged it in and I didn't have to go in there and enable and um, re-enable the microphone. So when it comes to PC audio, I can tell you this thing's gonna help a lot. So go for it. Overall, would I recommend? I would say yes, for these three reasons. 
Number one, it's super easy to use. Again, the adapter that comes with it, if you wanna use your smartphone, I use my Samsung SA Plus. Um, I just plug it in and I'm good to go. But if you wanna use your iPhone, it works well too, especially for those of us who wanna record at home or if you're out on the go. The adapter makes it easy, you're ready to go. Number two is price point. You can get this thing on Amazon for only $29.99. You can't ask for better than that when you have something that's really good quality. Which brings me to my number three, which is quality. I wasn't expecting much because I thought, okay, this microphone is pretty inexpensive. It should do, you know, a decent job. But so far I've been really, really happy. I mean, you guys heard the test. You can hear the difference between the two. Overall, I say go for it. Heck yeah, buy it. 